Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video. And it's Saturday, so I'm back with another slash review as part of the Horror Man slash back slash challenge series. And this week's theme is comedy slashes. Now a few of you may be expecting a Tucker and Dale vs Evil review because I was talking about doing that on the Slash Bros stream last week. But with all this censorship BS that's currently going around YouTube with this whole um, for kids thing, whether to make your channel kid friendly or not, uh, there's just a whole massive debacle around that. I've decided to review Bloody Bloody Bible Camp for a couple of reasons. Oh, well, obviously it's a comedy slasher, but this one is a pretty much a big FU to mainstream censorship. It's one of the most politically incorrect slashes that I've ever seen. So, yeah, um, my reasoning for reviewing this one is for that. A bit of an FU to YouTube censorship, I guess. We're all adults, or the majority of us are adults on here, and in my opinion, we should be able to make the content that we want. Um, in reason, of course, you know, as long as it's not harming or offending anyone else. Um, but YouTube just seem to put so many restrictions on things nowadays, it's kind of crazy. But anyway, um, enough on that, that's a topic for a different video. So back to this week's review. So Bloody Bloody Bible Camp centers around a group of Christian campers, and the movie starts off several years prior to the main events of the movie. Um, where people are heading to a Bible camp called Happy Day Bible Camp. And they end up getting killed off by a nun. And basically the film skips forward several years, I think about seven years. And a whole other group of characters end up arriving at the same camp. And a couple of the people there that are with the group know about the prior events that took place. And basically the nun turns up again and starts the killing spree once again. So that is essentially the storyline to this one. Now I'll move on to my thoughts. So I had only seen this movie once before and it was several years ago because I believe this one came out around 2012 or somewhere around that time period. So it had been a while and I couldn't remember enjoying it back then and upon re-watching it my opinions are exactly the same. This is a lot of fun and I still really, really enjoy this one a lot. So first of all, we'll talk a little bit about the location. Now, I really like the location in this one. It reminds me of the Crystal Lake area minus the lake. So as I said, um, or maybe I didn't, but the beginning of the movie um, takes place several years prior to the events of the main film. And then when the new group of people arrive, they end up arriving at a small town a little bit before the camp and of course they are warned about not going to the camp. Um, very very similar to the Friday the 13th series and then of course they end up dismissing these um, warnings and head to the camp anyway and the camp just definitely has that old school Friday the 13th vibe and in fact the whole movie does. Um, it definitely has a really really strong old school Friday the 13th vibe just with over-the-top comedy added on top of that. So for me, the location's great and uh, works really, really well. Now, as for the characters, the characters are a lot of fun. They are extremely cliche, but um, the one thing that I really got out of this movie, which I guess we'll talk about quickly now, is that the director knew exactly the type of movie that he wanted to make. Um, he didn't really care about it being a little bit politically incorrect or catering to mainstream audiences or censorship or anything like that. He just made the movie that he wanted to and he absolutely nailed it. Um, so massive props to the director for that. But yeah, anyway, back to the characters. The characters are pretty cliche. They are very, very over the top and comedic, but I loved all the characters. They all worked really, really well. And the acting was really good, especially for a low budget indie slasher. Now, I quickly want to mention that Reggie Bannister plays a main role within this movie, so if any of you guys are Phantasm fans, you'll be well familiar with him because he was um, one of the main characters within that series. So, yeah, Reggie Bannister's performance in this one, his character, was really, really cool. I liked him a lot. As for the killer, I was a big fan of the killer. There was a nice little twist to do with the killer throughout the movie, 
and the killer is right there on the cover so it's basically a killer nun now I love it when slasher movies the killer is dressed up or the costume centers around the theme of the particular film and of course obviously this is a slasher set in a bible camp so very very fitting that the killer is a nun so really really awesome stuff right there so the killer is awesome and the kills are really really good I, I believe pretty much all of them are all on screen there's a really really decent body count and yeah there's kills all throughout the movie and a really really good body count good variety of kills and the practical effects look really really good so yeah the kills are awesome the practical effects are fantastic as well so yeah and the last thing that I quickly want to mention is the soundtrack the soundtrack definitely reminds me a little bit of Friday the 13th but a little bit more subtle but yeah the soundtrack is really really awesome as well so yeah for someone like myself that is extremely picky when it comes to uh, comedy horror this one just worked for me it works really really well I love how politically incorrect it is because um, I enjoy that sort of humor and uh yeah, as I said, the director knew what he wanted to make when it came to the movie, and he did. He succeeded really, really well. So, if you guys have seen Bloody Bloody Bible Camp, let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. Um, this one doesn't really get talked about too much, so um, another reason why I wanted to review it for this week's theme. But, yeah, if you haven't seen this one, and it sounds good to you, then I would definitely highly recommend it. Um, as I said, it's a lot of fun. It's extremely politically incorrect. It's pretty over the top in terms of its uh, comedic elements, but everything just works. And yeah, um, a lot of fun, as I've already said numerous times. So there you go. That's been my review for Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. And until next Saturday, when I'll be back with another review, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.